What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today it's a big, big, big game it is for, for us and for Tottenham at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, whatever you want to call it, White Hart Lane. Anyway, Tottenham away, let's have it, match day vlog. You heads. Bash. First thing is first, I need to now get a train because it's currently currently 20 to 4 in the morning. Yep, 20 to 4 in the morning. I'm getting the uh, cheap train, cheapest one again, because obviously these cost quite a bit, especially when it's London. From my, well, at this moment in time, my local station is as locked and in Nottinghamshire. I don't know if you've heard of that station. I don't know if you guys have heard about it or whatever. Anyway, but uh, anyway, I'm going to get the train there in about, leaving about 10 minutes or so. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to get the earliest train down to London. Well, Grantham have then changed down to London. And yeah. I'll see you there. And I'm very, very nervous about today because, obviously, I know Tottenham are on a shaky run, shall we say. And I think we can get something. But if we don't, and then the other results go other teams away, I, th I think we're going to be struggling again. But uh, I hope we're not. But anyway, I'll see you down when I'm at um, Grantham. Cool with you, Reds. It's got into uh, as Lockton Station. It's absolutely... Dead silent, it's dead perishing as well. Absolutely deserted here. Bloody hell. Be a bit more lively at Grantham, hopefully. Keep machine before, guys, but it's quite uh, it's quite useful. And it's very small stations like this, but I um, I don't need to use it today. But if any of you ever come into us locked in, because you probably have a few queries about will it have special services at the station but it's got the ticket machine so it's not bad for a very small village like guys locked in getting the 527 train that one uh, which goes to peterborough but i'm getting off at grantham at 549 and then i go from grantham to king's cross at 620 or just before time so not bad at all bash while it's really quiet here right now guys i'm going to give you my verdict and my predictions on the game today because personally I really, really hope we can at least get something from today's game because I think we're going to be really, really struggling, you know, down the, the bottom area, the relegation area, if we um, if we don't manage to pick up at least a point today. Because the home form's all right, I say that, and a point against Everton should have done better against them, but the away form is absolutely dreadful, so we really need to pick up. So I am going to go for today. <sighs> it's a hard one. We're either going to get absolutely smacked up like we normally do in London or Johnson's going to slip in behind and get one in. I said that last week but it never happened but that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Forrest 1, Gibbs White to get one uh, and um, I think it's Spurs. Spurs will get a red card and I think Conte, I think it might be Conte's last game. But anyway, come on you Reds. Them guys, and that's my train. Let's have it. Grump and Bosch. Guys, King's Cross once again, loving. I forget the signature cup of tea, guys. You know me. Take a little wander, and I've come to Camden Lock. Pretty nice, trendy area, this one. Guys, I've decided to leave that Camden here. It was a bit sketchy, if I'm being honest with you. I'll tell you more about it in the ground, but anyway, I'm here at the Tottenham ground now. It is absolutely big, ginormous. This, guys, has got to be the best ground in the league. This is the best one I've been to all season by far. The size of it. Bloody hell. Nice mural here, guys. Ledley King. So, guys, I've just come into the club shop and it is absolutely massive. This is the biggest one I've ever been to. Come take a look at this. We've got it all going on here. But yeah, the prices of these. Look at that. 95 quid for a shirt. Yeah, it's uh, by far the biggest, guys. 
goes down here as well. Yeah, I'd love it. I'd love it if we had one of these, you know, guys, one of these shops as big as this. Or, I mean, we're walking around it now. It's like, I mean, like um, Sports Direct or something. Sports Direct Shire, that's one for the lots of lads. Look, it is absolutely massive. I think there's a stadium tour going on here, guys. Yeah, I like the big screen here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get heading out of here now because I'm going to keep on the load with this on. But anyway, see you guys in a bit. But I'm going to get a programme first because that's more important. Bash. I wonder if we've got any Jed Spence shirts, guys, in here. The Sun, Wind, Son and Kane, they love, apparently. Kane, Son, Kulaveski. But yeah, no Jed Spence because I'd buy one of them. Just come out of the stadium, guys, now. The amount of dirty looks I was getting in there, so, you know, I thought I'd have to come out sooner or later. But anyway. Got a rock, rock the forest home shirt, you know me. Anyway, got the goods before I came out of the club shop, before they all started giving me dirty looks. Got a program, four quid though. What a waste of money for four quid. If it was two, three quid, it'd be all right, but not bad. But look at our squad list. Bloody hell. We love a good player. We love the signing. Anyway, guys, now I'm going to go see if I can see the players coming in because it's probably about time they come in. And then it'll probably be turnstiles opening, so let's go, let's go on over there and take a look. Oh, bosh. It's an absolutely beautiful day today, guys, you know, here in London. Whenever I come up these football away games, other than the Man United, it's absolutely beautiful weather. Let's have it. So I've got a minute now, guys. I've just uh, come into the shade here a bit because someone's annoying me, but I've got a minute now. So I'm going to tell you about what happened when I went down to Camden Market. So anyway, I went down there and um, it seemed a bit sketchy. It is. Everyone was just searching around, just giving, pe giving people odd looks and that. Some bloke started staring at me with this other woman. I don't know, I don't know what she's been up to or whatever, but she, she looked like she's inhaled some illegal substance or whatever. And she, she just started giving me destiny and asking me for money. And then I just ended up walking off and she like, sort of followed me and this other woman, but she, she stopped at the end, so I just thought I need to get out of there. But it was a, a nice little picture of a locker, not though, but. I would have enjoyed to have a little bit more of a look, but obviously safety comes first, what can I say? I think my dinner's sorted for today, guys. We are Tottenham Pie and Mash Shop. Love it. So, guys, I've killed enough time now. See, I'm waiting here right now at the turnstiles, all ready to open in about 20 minutes or so. Cure on your heads. So, guys, I've just got into the ground, and I've literally got the best seat in the, in the away and possible. Look at this. So, I'm on the last seat here. Let me zoom out. Pictures there. I'll be away. The home fans are there. I'm all ready for it. Anyway, if they start giving me some aggro, I'll give them some back. Let's have it. What a stadium this is, though. I think that's the Tottenham badge up there. But yeah, what a class stadium this is. This has got to be my favourite stadium in the league by far. Well, other than the city ground, but best one I've ever been to, this is. Other than the city ground, 100%. What a class stadium. And the seat is just too good. Literally, last seat. All ready for the own fans. Oh, it's going to be kicking off here. Love it. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to try out some of their world famous scran they have on sale here. Let's have it. Look at this top tier scran, guys. Oh, that looks absolutely quality. Only at the Tottenham Hotspur ground you'd get that. This top tier scran, guys. Only at the Tottenham Hotspur ground you'd get this. What a view as well. Class. Anyway, guys, that scram was absolutely top notch stuff. I can't break that idea. That's a solid 9.8. The reason I don't get 10 is because I couldn't open the ketchup if I had to go through the grease. But other than that, top notch. Ah, nice. So, guys, I'm here with Ethan. Right. What do you think the score's going to be today, mate? Um, thinking a 2 1. Johnson and. Um, oh, Wood. Other Reds. Yeah, you Reds. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Team News again. Six, Shelby. I'd take Shelby out personally. I'd keep gold back in. Good to see Nikate back on. Filling out nicely now, guys. Whoa. 
Oh, that's fucking chirpy.
Half time. Well, yeah, third goal up. Same old stuff in the other day. Just got back in guys, it's been a pretty mad one, but 
What is this BS before I start anyway? No commentary on match of the day. 20 minutes long. Like, what the hell? Anyway, guys, I just got back in, basically, in the last 10 minutes or so. It's um, getting late now. It's, what is it? Coming up to about half 10-ish. But basically, uh, ever since, well, obviously, the game was piss poor, as always. I mean, first off, first off, no effort or anything at all, really poor. But second off, they put a bit of effort in. But if the penalty went in, we wouldn't have deserved to be. We wouldn't have deserved to lose the game three two anyway. So three one's about right, personally. But poor penalty. Oh. I I made a difference though, and he came on for sure. But he's got to be putting that away, and he a bit more power behind it will do. But yeah. Uh, not ideal, not a great penalty. Anyway, after the game, I don't know what went on, but it took absolutely hours to get to King's Cross because it's a summer uh, White Hart Lane overground station. It's not a nice one because um, everyone piles up there and um, I then you, I then I had to go to uh, some place called Seven Sisters to change and then there was some fire going on at King's Cross St Pancras tube station, so I had to go to, is it Euston? So you had to go to Euston uh, and then uh, find my way over to uh, King's Cross area and then came back down to um, to, to Newark this time, guys, Newark. I mean, I've actually just met up with someone, just had a bit of uh, a bit of tea and then just come back here. But it's, um, other, than, uh, other than the game, other than the game, really, it's not been a, it's not been a bad day, but stay stadium, day out, it's not bad, but need to be picking up points and results when I come out on these day trips but anyway on to Newcastle Newcastle next week I guess but it's a big one it's a certainly a big one anyway so yeah a bit more of a game I thought if I'm being honest with you I don't know what is up with because from my view from my view I don't know what went on with Brennan I know he picked up an injury but I don't know what what he's done really, but we yeah, Chris Wood as well. I don't really know what he did either. But anyway, uh, Chris Wood. Personally, I think he'll be missed because Everton. He looked all right personally. I know he was getting criticised a lot, but I thought he didn't do bad. So I think he'll be missed for Newcastle game. But the um, Brennan, obviously, if he's out, that's a major, major miss. But hopefully he's not, and we get to uh, get to use him for Newcastle and the rest of the season, all being well. Fingers crossed. Do you know what, guys? Joe Worrell was absolutely dreadful today, you know. That's the worst I've seen in the play all season. I know he's had a few poor ones, but today's the worst. This game of the Man City game back in August, that's the worst I've seen him play for in a while. Got absolutely bullied, he did, and uh, shoved off a ball of his passes. Couldn't even put a straight, straight pass together. And I know he got the goal, and I know he'll get a bit of credit for that, but... Other than the goal, which, let's be honest, Tottenham can't defend corners, can they? But, he, he, uh, other than that, really, he's he didn't do anything. He was really poor, especially with the passes and that. He slowed it all down, in particular him, anyway. And I thought uh, Freuler, he had a very poor poor game as well. He didn't really get involved, which you didn't expect him to, really. You'd want him to, you know what I mean, get, dictate the play a bit in midfield, but slowed it down, which is not ideal. Like, this has been a problem over the past few weeks. They, they, well, most of them all slow it down. Colback, he's not one to do that. And he was on the bench. I personally, I'd start Colback. And Yates looked lively. Oh, talking about it, the game's actually just come on match of the day. Yeah, that was BS. But I don't want to really show it, guys, because I don't want to get copyrighted or whatever. But that um, VAR stuff at the start, it was just a load of nonsense, really, if I'm being honest with you. He was, off, he was offside, he was, for sure. And that... Skip who put the ball into him. Um, it's it's an obvious it's an obvious offside because he's running he's running behind. But I get if you have to kill kill all this time with a VAR to check it. But personally, they should just get on with it and call it off. And they're nothing. They they are completely nothing without Harry Kane because if they don't have Harry Kane, they don't have Son working well. And Kane he's he's their he's their main man. He. I think he got. Uh, I think he scored for penalty and scored a header today. The header was a great goal. You know he's always been good at them, man. Diving headers in the air. 
Hey, uh, do you know what? I, I do, either though he plays for Tottenham, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of Tottenham. I, I am a big fan of Harry Kane. I do like how he plays. Personally, he's, I think he's a better player than Haaland, but that's one for another day. Yeah, finally, guys, before I go finish off these highlights, unfortunately, I'm going to, uh, I was meant to, I was meant to tell you the stage there that came to my head, but Basically, uh, I wanted to apologise for no Premier League predictions this week because I was unable, unfortunately, to be able to get a guest to come on this week. But hopefully next week I can pick someone and pick someone up and get someone to come on. All being well, fingers crossed. But yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, that was a good block, to be fair, by Warrell. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to get going now and I'm going to watch these highlights because I'd, I say that and he's, um, it led to the... Um, what's it called? It led to the song goal, which... Should be doing better personally. All of them should be back. But anyway, I'll see you guys for the next video, which is probably going to be uh, either Premier League predictions next week or um, a match day vlog at Newcastle, which is actually Friday night. So see you guys probably Saturday for the vlog. So see you Saturday. You heads. Bash. Don't go changing.